My name is Shruk El Attar and I am an engineer by day, belly dancer by night, full-time refugee. Nice to meet you. <laughs> So I do a show called Dancing Queer where I perform as a belly dancing drag king because it's two of the biggest parts of my identity. Being queer, the art of drag, mixed with being um, Egyptian, the art of belly dance or the art of Egyptian dance. But this year with Watershed I really want to take this to the next level and bring all of myself to stage, so bring my engineering skills to stage as well. So I'm working on a belly dancing robot. So in Egypt, we don't call it belly dancing, we just call it dancing. That's how people dance. We move our hips and it's mostly hip movements, sometimes your arms, and it's something that's done by all people of all genders. It's done for each other's enjoyment, but most importantly, it's done for your own enjoyment. That's how you express your joy or even sadness. Some choices I made designing the robot range from what sort of microcontroller to use to what sort of structure to use. How can I make this something easy to work with? How can I use things that are just lying around your house to make a belly dancing robot? You know, things like toilet paper, things like lollipop sticks, that sort of thing. I don't want people to think it's a very specialized thing and you have to get that, you know, chip set or whatever very complicated thing. So I've been exploring these. I've also been playing with fabrics um, and how to cover uh, stuff that might look not very visually appeasing uh, and make it look very beautiful, very pretty, very creative and most importantly yours. So it's something that you can make look whatever you want. Subconsciously my relationship with my belly dancing robot might be perhaps to be finally in control of, of what I do. I always felt like being an asylum seeker and a refugee in this country, my life was controlled by other people for a very long time. And that had a really big effect on me and on my mental health. And I feel like with the robot, it's something that I can control. It's something that I uh, can dictate what experiences it gives you. And you can do that too, and it's very empowering. I'm working on making Dancing Queer a theatre show uh, where the robot is uh, one of the characters. Uh, we do duets together, uh, but the show is so much more than that. And I, I can't wait, I can't wait to uh, make that show come to life. I would like to take this work back to the my queer refugee community because a lot of them will find themselves in situations that I found myself in or have gone through the same thing. A lot of barriers in their way to fulfill their full potential and I want to give people a method to be able to see that and be able uh, to know that they can do something so amazing like that.